Now with more is Dr. Vasan Ramanuja with the Mankato Clinic. Thanks so much for being here today. And I am one of those that suffers from spring allergies. So when we had that week that was really warm, uh, that was a rough week for me and I'm sure many other people. Uh, let's start by talking about what causes these allergies. It's most frequently tree pollens in the spring, as well as outdoor molds from the snow melting. Those are the most common causes of spring allergies. Mm -hmm. And are you able to tell what to expect this year as the season approaches? Well, when the season eventually arrives, because <laughs> this last few weeks <laughs> right have on. been rather uh, atypical, um, there can be, especially as it warms up more, more of the typical symptoms, nasal congestion, the stuffy nose, the runny nose, itchy nose, sneezing, watery, itchy eyes for some can also cause a cough as well. Mm -hmm. And um, as far as options for relief, there are so many to choose from. How do you go about finding the right one for you? Sure, it's best to stick with, if you take an oral antihistamine, one that is non-sedating. Uh, common ones that are non-sedating include Claritin, Zyrtec, Allegra. Uh, there are some nasal sprays available as well, uh, over the counter, some steroid nose sprays to help control inflammation in the nose. Examples include Flonase, Nasacort, Nasonex. But if you find that you're not having enough relief with using over-the-counter medications, it's definitely recommended to see an allergist for further evaluation. Okay. So that's for treatment. What about preventative measures? Are there any you can take? Sure. So for those who have outdoor allergies to pollens and the outdoor mm -hmm. molds, it's helpful to keep the windows closed in the home and car as much as possible during those seasons. And after spending lots of time outdoors during those seasons, washing the hair, at least rinsing it before bedtime, can help prevent those allergens from depositing on the pillow. And you talked about further treatment. What can you guys do to help? So we take a detailed history and do a as exam mm -hmm. to uh, as the first part of the evaluation and then we can do allergy testing for various things in the environment which includes pollens, dust mites, cat and dog dander, mold and based on those results we can identify what environment control measures can be helpful in addition to tailoring specific treatments whether it be medications or even allergy shots known as immunotherapy. So knock on wood, I do not really have a trouble with allergies th at this point, but I always hear the pollen count mentioned in different reports. Why is that important to pay attention to? That can be helpful to monitor pollen counts. So if you are doing some activities outdoors, you could try to coordinate them with when pollen counts mm -hmm. could be lower. I know it's easier said than done right. and not always possible, but it can be helpful for those who want to try to avoid uh, excess exposure. All right, and, and we can see allergies, you know, in kids and adults. It really doesn't matter the age. And can people develop this, you know, at a certain stage in their life, even though they haven't had it for many years? They can. They don't necessarily have to start in childhood. They can even develop as an adult. I just jinxed myself then, saying, yeah, I, right. saying right. That I don't have a trouble with it. <laughs> All right, so if the over-the-counter stuff's not working, they should maybe think about seeing a professional. Exactly. Yeah for yeah. further evaluation. Yeah, one more question, and so do you recommend that people kind of switch things up as, so um, if someone is taking, let's say Zyrtec, for example, um, should they take it throughout the entire spring season or should they just take it when they have symptoms or they feel that pressure? So that's a great question and it really depends on the individual. There are some that do okay with taking medication just only certain times of the year and they don't need it at other times. Others, depending on their allergies, especially if they have indoor allergies mm -hmm. to things like house dust and pet dander, may need to take something throughout the year. All right, some great information today. Thank you so much for being with us and we'll have Thanks. more.